Hey everybody, Cobra DVS here, uh, along with Neo Flynn. Hey everybody. <laughs> and uh, episode ten, double digits. Double <laughs> we made digits. it. Yes. <laughs> um. Huh. That's odd. Um. I he's never he's never gonna hear this. I I don't, I don't think he listens to the show. But uh, Chase, who was on the who was a guest a couple of weeks ago, uh, he just got on Skype. And a little <laughs> notification popped up in the bottom corner of my screen, and he spelled his last name wrong. <laughs> his last name was Fleming. Well, I don't know if he wants me to say this. Ah, whatever. And, and, but he put Felming. <laughs> that's pretty funny, actually. Yes, that's that. It'd be like you putting Aslan or something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, well, anyway, I'm back on topic. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, before we start comments, of course, go ahead and, like, um, do the whole Facebook routine. Of course, the link's always in the description, so there's no reason if you have a Facebook, just go ahead and click the like button and do it already. <laughs> also, um, I went ahead and went through all of my uh, videos uh, the other day, and I put them in their proper playlists, and that includes Rattlecast. So I went ahead and made a complete Rattlecast up-to-date podcast or um, playlist. Um, so you can go ahead and look at the old episodes and, and listen to the old ones and all that. I put ahead and put that together and turned out nice playlists are kind of neat <laughs> so yeah i really need to do some maintenance on my page too but. yeah it's like i kind of like start these playlists like oh okay yeah we'll have one for this uh, <laughs> we'll do that one for that okay and then the pickups one sure and then uh you know four pickups videos later did i put that one in uh, i don't think i put this one i better put it in again oh now it's in there twice yeah. never <laughs> update it and then i always have to remember and it's just a hassle so they're good if you stay up on them all right, so let's go ahead and get to comments last or of last week's. Uh, Going to be good here towards the end, so um, <laughs> these comments here. So we'll start with Intellivision Dude. Since I haven't played Grand Theft Auto 4, I can't comment on it, but I have noticed even though magazines and critics rated it high, like you said, most GTA fans prefer the earlier games in the series. Most consider, still consider Vice City or San Andreas the best. Um, and the one I've played the most is probably the third um, but I did play a little bit of Vice City. I can't really yeah. comment on what I thought about them. I don't remember. It, but. If I had to pick my favorite, I would probably say Vice City, just because I love the whole, like, 80s, 80s vibe of it. Like, so to me, that's probably my favorite. But, I mean, they're they're all good. <laughs> all right. Uh, you commented, and it says, Holy <laughs> Long Intro, Batman. What, what was the long... What? Because the music intro was, like, four minutes long. <laughs> it was? Yeah. <laughs> Oh. I don't know what you did, but yeah, huh. the music went on for like four minutes before the actual episode starts. Whoops. <laughs> oh, you know. So I had to say something. <laughs> I, pro- I probably didn't. Ah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I probably know what I did. Damn. Yeah, I didn't notice that. And I thought I even went back and like listened to the intro and was like, well, what was so long about that? I guess I didn't listen long enough. <sighs> All right. Um, LV Peppy 38 said, great episode. Um, next one has a comment removed. I'm guessing it was James. He accidentally posted twice or something. Yeah. Okay, James has two comments. Here we go. I have a question slash comment. Is the Wii U going to be the worst system of all time? No, I'm just, no, I'm not just trolling Tyler here. Uh, uh, the system is, no matter what, not going to perform at the level of the next Sony and Microsoft systems. Its pro controller is a blatant ripoff of the Xbox, and we still have no proof that Nintendo will get their act together and have decent online setup. I don't want to sound like an Xbox, <laughs> an Xbot or anything, but am I the only one who thinks the Wii U is doomed? Um, okay, I doubt you're the only one that thinks that, but <laughs> certainly you're the only one I've ever heard express it like that. Yeah, I mean, I get where he's, what he's saying, like, because he's right, like. The, the power-wise, it's it's probably not going to... I'll say probably. He says definitely. But, I mean, just based on when it's coming out and when the others are slated come out, obviously they're, they're going to be more powerful. So it's it's the same thing that the Wii had. But I think the Wii kind of had that, you know, that niche of the motion controls. and But now that's kind of everywhere. So I don't know if the, you know, the tablet controller is enough to get people to come back. You know, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. So I kind of see what he's saying. I don't know if it's doomed, but I don't think it will do as well as the Wii did. Right. Well, that's going to be a tough act to follow, certainly. But um, um, I don't think it's doomed. Um, 
it, it'll probably do well. I would imagine it would. I have no reason to think it wouldn't. Um, now, there's no doubt about it. There's, you'd be silly to say otherwise, that the next consoles are going to be certainly probably more powerful than the Wii U. But, I don't think you're going to see that huge of a jump in as far as graphic quality goes. I mean, look at, like, um, you go from PS2 to PS3. That's a pretty big jump. That's pretty big. I don't think we're going to see that equivalent size of a jump in graphics from this current gen to the next gen. Uh, I could be wrong, but I really don't see it happening. Because we're, it's, it's so close to being damn near, like, real, almost. Uh, there's always room for improvement, of course, but I, I doubt that it's, which would be in the Wii's favor, Wii U's favor in that um, it'll probably still be behind, I'm not saying that, but it won't be so far as the Wii was. Yeah, well, that depends on, on whether it can run which we'll kind of get into in one of your news stories. But yeah, Unreal 4. If it can run Unreal 4, which yeah. they have yet to confirm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So if it can't do that, then it's in trouble. Yeah, that's a little troublesome, but... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, he says that the Pro Controller is a blatant ripoff of the Xbox. Well, I mean... <sighs> okay. Well, why don't... <laughs> it is, I guess. <laughs> but it's kind of like, you know, a... you can say that, but then look at the Xbox controller. That's a blatant ripoff of the Dreamcast. And you could even say that the button set up on the Xbox controller is a blatant ripoff. Well, it's, I don't want to say blatant ripoff, but it's a carbon copy of what's on the Super Nintendo. A, B, X, Y. They're in the same spots. So it's not, it's not like anybody has a certain controller and nobody can touch it. In fact, yeah. if I had to say, if I had to pick a controller for the Wii U to be mimicked, it would easily be the Xbox 360 controller. So I'm, I have no problem with that. Yeah, I mean, I, all, all the controllers are pretty much the same now. Right. You know, I mean, the DualShock and the Xbox are pretty much identical oh, for the yeah. most part, you know, as far as layout goes. But one 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 thing I do like about the Wii, the the con- Pro controller is that it it give at least it gives you the option. I would assume that most games are probably going to support. You can either use the Wii U gamepad or you can use the Pro controller. I would imagine that's probably how it's going to be. Um, and that at least gives people the option, whereas it's like. Like, with the Wii, you always hear people saying, oh, I don't want to get up and move and play a game. I just want to sit yeah. <laughs> So with the Wii U, it's going to be like, yo, I don't want to hold an iPad in my hand and play. Well, don't. Just use the Pro <laughs> Controller. It'll be a standard system. So, I like that. Okay. Um, all right. Here we go. Uh, his second comment. To continue, Nintendo went after a very broad market with the Wii, but I think that Microsoft with the Kinect now appeals to them more, which is why the Wii sales have fallen off a cliff. I just don't see how the Wii U will compete for hardcore gamers with a, without a decent online or the power to play next generation games or the mass market, which Microsoft is really gunning for. Nintendo should probably just go third party and stop making consoles. Rant over, please discuss. <laughs> um, well, no, they're not going to go the way of Sega. There's just no way. I, I don't see it happening. I would love it if they did, quite frankly, but I don't think they will. <laughs> you what? Huh? You what? I, I would. I would love to see them do, like, just don't do consoles and just make games for the other consoles. <laughs> Why, so you can play, like, eh, I don't, I don't, I mean, I'm not sure I'm following you here. Like, go the, way of, go the way of Sega and just not focus on consoles and just go third party and make games for Xbox and PlayStation. I think they would, I think they would kill if they did that, like, because you would open up your audience to all these other gamers that may not play a Nintendo system, and you'd make lots of money. <laughs> mm, all right. But I, like I said, I don't think they ever would, but Probably. I wouldn't I wouldn't mind it if they did. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <Right>. um, <laughs> I mean, it was the smartest thing Sega ever did. So. Well, they didn't really have a choice, though. Yeah. <laughs> Nintendo's not really... I mean, yeah, I think Nintendo's Nintendo, not... They, well, they did post some losses but um, of last year, but I, I, I don't think... I, I think it was their first time ever. Probably. Or first time in a long time. I don't know, maybe when the Virtual Boy came out, they bit it a little bit. But, <laughs> but um, I right. mean, they still got the handheld market cornered, so they're not going anywhere. But. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, okay, which is why the Wii sales have fallen off a of cliff. He says, Nintendo went after a very broad market with the Wii, but I think Microsoft with the Kinect now appeals to them more, which is why the Wii sales have fallen off a of cliff. Um, I don't know if that's the reason the Wii sales have fallen off a of cliff. I'd say it's more that... 
there's really no games coming out for the Wii anymore. Um, yeah, and it, it's it's kind of outdated. Like, yeah, it's. I mean, the last big game for the Wii was Skyward Sword, um, unless you count Xenoblade Chronicles, which was kind of a sort of a little niche release. But um, yeah, it's just, there's really no games anymore for it. Uh, Nintendo is clearly focusing on uh, the 3DS and then especially the Wii U. Um, so there's really right now there's really no new reason to buy a Wii. You can of course buy it for the you know the old games that are on there, but uh, I, I'd attribute the lack of new games and new content to the uh, Wii sale. Plus, I mean, oh, damn near everybody has one now anyway. So who's even yeah. buying this thing? <laughs> um, and also, it, I don't know if the Kinect is really anything Nintendo should worry about. I, you know what? I I have to play with the controller. I there's I can't. I don't think I can do Connect. I'd, I'd like to give it a shot and see how it is, but, I mean, I just don't see it happening as far as Nintendo, or the Connect being the Wii's, you know, maker or whatever. Yeah, I, think it's, I think it's really great in, like, a party setting if you got a bunch of people. Like, playing it alone is kind of eh. But, like, if you got a few people and everybody's making a fool of themselves, then, you know, it's, it's fun. So, <laughs> like, you, you know, you put in Dan Central and everybody's sitting there making a fool out of yourself, so you can have a lot of fun. So I think I think he's kind of right in that aspect. Like it does it does things that we tried to do and does them better. Like you know, so the motion controls are way better on Connect than they ever could hope to be on the Wii. So <laughs> okay, all right. Um, all right, well that's it for comments. Only five, five, yeah, five. So um, I guess we can go ahead and move on to news. Nick, you can go ahead and start her on up. Oh, okay. Uh, this is something that I found. Interesting, and I, I don't think it's too far off from reality. Um, and it was uh, an article on One Up that said, you know, talking about the Old Republic and that it could potentially turn free to play. Um, and it says, you know, Old Republic's potential free to play turn should signal the end of MMO subscriptions, um, which I don't think is a big surprise. Like, it's really hard to fork out a monthly fee to play a game unless you're really, really, you know, into it. Mm-hmm. You know, War- World of Warcraft kind of being that exception to the rule, but. Almost every other game that's tried has eventually gone free to play. Um, and I think it's smart. Like you can still sustain and go free to play and not have an issue. Like they, you know, they could easily charge for expansion packs and still make their money. Like if you were giving away the, if you were giving the subscription for free and just charging for expansions, like you would still make probably the same amount of money as if you charged everybody to play because you would have you'd have more people playing because they don't have to pay and those people are more likely to buy the expansion pack. Whereas you know, if you're charging, you're going to have less people playing, and then, you know, they probably, you'll drop, you know, if you don't keep the content coming, which I think is where a lot of MMOs struggle. So, I think it's an interesting thing, and I I, I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. It's not going to happen anytime soon, I don't think, but, like, I've even lost interest a little bit in it, and I've been playing it since launch, basically, <laughs> so, but, it's, you know, it's one of those things, like, MMO market is so hard to get into and sustain that. I think going free to play is the way to go for most new games. But we'll, well see. if they went free to play, they could just have some sort of advertisements in it, and they could they could. Yeah, you can make revenue that way. Like I said, you can charge for the expansion. Like they've <clears throat> they've already done two expansions, um, or excuse me, one expansion and their work. The third one's there. The second one's about to come out, um, and those have both been free. Whereas they, you know, they could easily charge a little bit for them if they were if they were the subscription was free. So. Mm. I think you can do it different ways, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, all right. My first one has to do, again, I think we talked about this two weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we used price. Um, I think it's Head Honcho Satura. All right. I'm not sure of the guy's first name, but, uh, oh, it's Satura Sat- Iwata. Well, okay. Yeah. This is the short guy with the funny haircut, isn't it? <laughs> I think that's yeah. um, the first Nintendo Direct. I think Sega. Anyways, he he says that they're gonna. They have not released a price. They just haven't done it. But Nintendo says it's gonna be affordable. Uh, now they're trying to completely uh, do. Uh, how do you say it? They're kind of, they're learning from their mistakes with the 3DS. Uh, the 3DS launched at 250. I think. Obviously, it was too high. It didn't sell well, and then they dropped it to 179, or is it 169? I think it's 170, 170 bucks. 
and uh, it obviously now it's selling. I think they're even saying it's on par to sell better than the DS, which is <clears throat> which is pretty impressive actually. But um, so yeah, they they don't have a price. I, I read another article about the price, and it said something like a uh, he he used the word reasonable, and I, that scares me a little bit more than the word affordable. Uh, reasonable because reasonable i mean they could say you know this wii tablet cost 150 bucks on its own we're only charging 400 for the system in the wii tablet you know that's a good deal yeah. uh the bottom line is this system to be a real like seller needs to be 300 dollars. that's I, that's what i think if it's, it's if it's if it's 350 okay if it's 400 they're going to run into issues yeah 300 350 is about the range. I, I certainly don't think it's going to be under $300. I don't see it happening. It could. Uh, I think the Wii was... Did the Wii launch at 250 or 300 I don't remember. I want to say it was 250 but I, I think it was 250 actually. Um, and that was a huge deal. Or not a huge deal, but a big, you know, asset or whatever, uh, perk to buying a Wii is that it was cheaper. Uh, and that certainly, I would assume, helped sales. Uh, this thing, obviously, it's... It look, it's 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 shaping up to be a more expensive system than the Wii. Uh, the problem is just how much more expensive. It better only be three hundred, three fifty. That's that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> and um, I, I what scares me even more is that they just not have not said a price. I mean, <laughs> just announce it already. What's the yeah? Big I'm deal? sure they know what they're going to charge. Be, so it's like <laughs> yeah, they have to know. How could they not? <laughs> <laughs> just say it, yeah. Quit the guessing. Just if if they drop like some sort of five hundred dollar price, it's just they might go the way of Sega. There's no way this thing's gonna, you know. So, uh, so it's gonna be affordable. It's gonna be reasonable, but we still don't know how affordable or how reasonable. So, <laughs> speaking of Wii, your story has to do with Wii, eh? Yeah. Um. <laughs> basically, that. Uh, a game that's kind of been hinted at but never officially announced. Um, they finally officially announced it, um, and that's Kirby's uh, Dream Collection Special Edition, uh, which is kind of a to celebrate his 20th anniversary. Um, and it's supposed to come out this September, and it's going to have uh, Kirby's Dream Land, Kirby's Dream Land 2, which were both on the Game Boy, uh, Kirby's Adventure from the NES, Kirby's Germ- Dreamland 3 and Kirby Superstar from the SNES and Kirby 64 the Crystal Shards um, obviously from the 64 so um, four of them have been on virtual console but uh, the two Game Boy ones will be on the Wii for the first time so that's kind of cool I mean if, if you haven't played the, the Kirby's games then you're just missing out because he's awesome um, I was kind of disappointed that Kirby's Dream Course isn't on it but I was going to I was going to say that yeah. <laughs> that's kind of like a uh, not a very pop, well-known game, I, I would think. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it's, it's. I'm sure it's you know one of the bottom of the Kirby list, but I love it. <laughs> yeah, it is good actually. I um I got that. When I don't know when I got that, but it is uh, pretty addicting. It's pretty fun too. Um, you know what? I don't know if I ever mentioned this to you. I think I might have. Um, did you know that game was not originally a Kirby game? I think I think you said that in the video that you made of it, but I did I didn't know that. Until you oh yeah, yeah. In the back of the box for a uh, Super Nintendo, it advertised this game called Special T Shot, and I was like, Special T Shot? I've never heard of that. So I Googled it. Turns out it turned into Kirby's uh, Kirby uh, Dream Course. So, <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's actually odd because I'm pretty sure the same thing happened with um, Kirby's Epic Yarn. I'm pretty sure that wasn't originally a Kirby game. I heard that. I'm not. <laughs> don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure that's right. So, apparently, you just slap Kirby on it and it makes the game better. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess that wouldn't make sense. Yes. Got a pink puffy marshmallow guy. You can't go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you could, but they. Nah. Is there a bad Kirby game? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. Um. I heard Kirby Air. Ride. I haven't played it yet. Oh yeah, Kirby's Air Ride. I, was yeah. say, I heard Kirby Air Ride kind of sucks. Yeah, I forgot about that. One. Why does Nintendo make any racing game other than Mario? <laughs> or uh, Mario Kart. There's a Donkey Kong Barrel Blast on the Wii too. Don't don't do that. Just make Mario Kart. That's just make Mario Kart. Yeah. Okay. You know you you have a good thing going with it. Don't don't mess it up. <laughs> All right. So here's what. Um, so my article, the last little news story here is uh, we sort of touched on it earlier. 
And it's this from G4. This is the first time I've gotten an article from G4, I think. <laughs> it says, the title of the article is, Does the Nintendo's, Does Nintendo's Wii U Have a Power Problem? And this is alluding to the fact that while right now the system seems pretty high-tech and pretty um, uh, powerful, in 2014, when they're thinking maybe the new Xbox and PS4 will come out, is it still going to be up to par, they're thinking it probably won't be. And they also talk about the fact that it hasn't been confirmed that the Wii U can run Unreal 4. Um, Which would be bad. <laughs> yeah. You know, Unreal 3 is probably what they use to make like Gears of War 3 in that, I would assume. I don't yeah, think it's pretty much any big name game is made in Unreal 3 right Okay, now. so, obviously, those games can look good. Uh, if Gears of War 3 were on the Wii U and looked as good as it does on the 360, I don't think very many people would complain. But, now that the Unreal 4 is coming out, you know, you can't you can't just stay behind like that. Yeah. It has to... Is there a 3.5 maybe that they can run? Or something? <laughs> does it have to jump up to 4? Um, I don't know. It's, it, uh, it's, 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 it's a tough thing. Is it... Do you think it has to be able to run Unreal 4 to be a success? I think it does. You think yeah. it does? Okay. Yeah, because I don't think people are going to, like, go the way that the, they did with the Wii where it had that. Because it's... The Wii at the time was really... Like, the control was what made it cool. But mm -hmm. that's not the case anymore. Like, it's not unique anymore. And I don't think, you know, putting an iPad on your console was going to be enough of a, you know, a draw to pull people in if it's not playing the top-notch games like the other consoles so right. i think um, i think it has to or i i think it'll see a huge drop when the new ones come out can the 360 run on rule 4 no it cannot it's not, no it's not made to but right that would make sense yeah yeah i mean it might yeah i don't think so because it doesn't have direct uh direct x11 which unreal 4 requires so hmm all right, so I don't know. Well, they could I, probably patch it, but <laughs> I don't know if it's powerful enough to do it. But yeah, I all right. I don't know if it has to run Unreal Four, but it, it would certainly be awesome. Uh, definitely a perk, I guess. It would certainly help sales. I think <sighs> that's probably going to be the biggest issue with the Wii Wii U. Yeah, yeah that's what's kind of weird. It's like coming out at such a weird time because if you look at like the past, most consoles come out generally it's close to each other mm -hmm. this this is they're going the way of sega here like the saturn launch at kind of an odd time yeah dreamcast was a complete victim of, of launching at the lo wrong time uh, <laughs> they pretty much screwed themselves doing that um, yeah so it's kind of weird that they're doing it um so soon but i don't know when the Wii come out 2006 i guess six years that's a pretty good run for a system yeah but um yeah, so, whatever, we'll see. Uh, still no release date, of course, but, um, yeah, well, I guess we'll see this holiday season, as they say. Yeah. So, All right, well, that's it for news. We can go ahead and move on to, uh, well, Nick, you picked it this week. Why don't you go ahead and set up the gaming spotlight here? Uh, I just thought it would be interesting. Um, over the weekend, uh, Sonic celebrated his 21st birthday, so he's old enough to drink now, so I figured we could talk about him. <laughs> um, you know, it's it's one of those things they basically Sega created him to compete directly with Mario, and I, it's tough to say who's like. Obviously, Mario is probably more popular, but I think that Sonic has that, uh, you know, that that niche following that it, there's some people that like Sonic more than Mario. I don't know. I like him. <laughs> do, do you like Sonic more than Mario? I don't know if I like him more than Mario. I think they're equals in my in my world. <laughs> hmm. uh, it's hard to say. I guess. For, well, for me, it's Mario. I mean, there's really no doubt about it. Uh, Sonic stopped being um, awesome, I guess, for me after the Genesis. I mean, I think a lot of people would probably agree. But then he sort of was revamped uh, during the Dreamcast era and then sucked to an all-time low <laughs> during, like, the, the, the game. Well, when, when, when was it? When were the bad ones around the 2006 era i think 
the you had that PlayStation Two, yeah. Yeah, well, you had that one that re that Sonic the Hedgehog. It was just called Sonic the Hedgehog on the Xbox. That was pretty yeah. terrible, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you, you had these like string of bad games. You had you had, you had Sonic the Hedgehog. You had Sonic Unleashed, which people didn't like at all. Um, you had that um, Sonic and the Secret Rings on the Wii, and then Sonic and the I, was it like the Dark Knight or something on the Wii or Black Knight, Sonic and the Black Knight on the Wii. Those were all pretty well. They were poorly received. So yeah, it was not a good time to be a Sonic fan. Um, I, I'd say where he's at right now is, uh, I don't know. I don't know what you'd say. Sonic, Sonic Generations is pretty good. Um, well, you've got you know you've got those crossover like the Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, and so those are pretty good. Like, those are fun. Um, and the uh, the Superstars Tennis wasn't bad. I want to get um. There was that Sonic or I think it was actually Sonic. I'm not sure if Sonic was in the name. So, that All Star Racing game. Yeah, Mario. Yeah, it's Sonic and the All Stars Racing. Yeah, it's not bad. It's fun. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't mind trying that, but um. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder what's next. What could they do next? They need to do another like, kind of like Generations was like another kind of old school throwback. Yeah, I. I th- well, that's high that you say that because they're making that right now, the Sonic the Hedgehog Four, and that's getting pretty shit reviews too. It's like <laughs> they can't win. It's. I I played the demo for Sonic uh, the Hedgehog Episode One because they're releasing it in, like episodes because it's DLC only. Yeah. Um, and it was, it was okay, I, I don't know, it's just, <sighs> I mean, that was like one of the shortest demos ever. <laughs> <laughs> I guess where that demo but last, isn't like, it like, the first level, that's all you get to play? Yeah, yeah, but you know, it's not, especially the old school Sonic, like, you blow through those levels, like, super fast, and that was only one level was the whole demo, I was like, are you serious? <laughs> like, I remember I did a video on, like, a first take video on that, and I couldn't believe how short it was. <laughs> um... Yeah, it was it was okay. I, I didn't download it, but um, the yeah, Sonic Generations was pretty good. Uh, oh, you had that other game, that Shadow the Hedgehog, that was kind of bad. I heard too. You know what they should do is they should like bring Knuckles back into it. Knuckles is sweet. Yeah, he's one of my favorite characters. They should do a Knuckles Chaotix too. <laughs> there you go. You know what? That that nobody has even heard of that game, unless you like are an old school. Uh, gamer, and there's no way. If I said to somebody, "Hey, you want to see another Knuckles Chaotix game?" They'd be like, "Well, you know, where's the first one at?" You know, yeah, what, is Knuckles <laughs> what the hell is Chaotix? What is this? Um, <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah, that, but I don't know. I'm, I'm wondering if Sonic. I don't even know if like Sonic is such a seller anymore. Is he? I mean, he kind of his reputation was certainly pretty, you know, hurt. I mean, he's. He's definitely had a lot more bad games than, you know, say a Mario franchise. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I don't. I I think his his name still draws. Like, if you put out something good, I think people will still still buy it. But yeah. What is his? So so his big gameplay uh, um, thing is just going fast through these levels. My my big problem always was, yeah, it's it's pretty fun when you're going through these levels like blazing fast. But when you get stopped and you have to actually do some platforming, the game kind of <laughs> suffers. I thought it, yeah. it kind of lo- loses some fun. Yeah, but I mean, then, well, go ahead. I was gonna say, you know, they created him to show like how much better the Genesis could do than the Super Nintendo. Like that's why he's, you know, you're blowing through these levels so fast is because they're trying to show the processing power of the Genesis. And uh. But yeah, I think you're right. Like when you get to those kind of platforming sections, he kind of loses some of his. Uh... Well, I, I, well, when I was saying that, I was referring more to the new ones than the old ones. The old ones has it too, of course. Um, but uh, we'll we'll talk about that in a second. Some of the older <laughs> ones, but um, but yeah, I, I don't know. And then you know, in, in these new 3D Sonic games, it almost feels like the game is literally playing itself at some point. Yeah, it feels like I don't even have to do anything. <laughs> Which he's just along for the ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, and if you're running through these levels the whole time, it can get a little rep, you know, repetitive. But um, yeah, I have no beef with Sonic games. I haven't bought in one. I don't even remember. Uh, I got Sonic Unleashed for Christmas once, but that's about all I've played. So, <laughs> um, so what are some of your favorite Sonic games? 
Um, I mean, obviously the the first one, just because you know it was the first one. Um, I think probably my favorite in the series would probably be the second one. Though. <laughs> you are not alone in that. Uh, that's a lot, what a lot of people say. I mean, I I like the you know the introduction of Tails and like it was fun to play. Um, and then I I like Sonic and Knuckles too. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'd probably put that one second behind the second one. Second behind the second, if that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, my favorite spin oh, ball. Sorry, spin ball is definitely at the top of my list too. You like spin ball, do you? I love spin ball. It's odd. I don't, <laughs> I don't think very many people like that game. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I always thought the music in that game, like a lot of people, like uh, didn't like that music, but I thought it was kind of good. <laughs> the Genesis, obviously, when you're talking music, it's it's hit and miss. But uh, yeah, I, I, I like that music in Spinball. Uh, if I was more of a pinball fan, maybe I'd like it. It's a, it's an interesting idea. Um, I think it it's okay. It's actually a pretty good idea for him to be in a pinball machine, considering his, you know, his his. I don't know if you want to call it a gimmick, but it, it, going fast is his sort of yeah. his thing. So, um, as far as as far as Sonic games go, my favorite it, it's got to be number one. And I, the reason for that is pretty simple. It's just the one I grew up playing the most. There's no doubt about no doubt about it. That's the whole reason. Um, yeah. But then you know, and I, I, I number two is is good. Uh, and the, the the biggest thing about number two that I like is um, the spin dash. Now you can hold down in the jump. Yeah. And you do the spin. Dash. If they were in number one, it would almost be perfect. But. Uh, it's not quite so, <laughs> but um, I, I do prefer number one. Um, what are some other good ones? You've got two, three. Um, people tend to, oh, I don't know. I, I think three is a little bit overrated. Yeah. I always I hear people saying it's the best. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't I don't like three that much. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I just don't care for it that much. Uh, Dave, you played three here. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I didn't enjoy it as much as the first two, for sure. Yeah, I don't know what it was. It was just the levels were kind of boring, I thought. I did <laughs> something about it. Um, you know what the best part about Sonic uh, 2 is? Probably the music. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. we touched upon it. I mean, it's a good game and all. I, you know, I'm not knocking it, but saying... Uh, but that game has some awesome music. Yeah, I think all the Sonics have really good... Like, that That's cool. true. Yeah. That's that's that we can agree on that. That's true. No doubt. About it. Um, all right. What's after that? Sonic and Knuckles. Um, now Sonic and Knuckles is actually pretty. I, I I like Sonic and Knuckles more than I like Sonic Three, which really doesn't even make that much sense because they were intended to be the you know one game, but they had to be separate. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I actually prefer Sonic and Knuckles over Sonic Three. Uh, do you like you, you you mentioned it? You like you like Sonic and Knuckles, huh? Yeah, yeah, I do. I like playing as Knuckles. I think he's a cool character. <laughs> yeah, he is pretty cool. He's is he okay? Is he on Sonic's team or is he not? Well, in three, he's a bad guy, and then I think in Knuckles, he sort of transfers over. <laughs> like he switches sides. I think it's been so long since I played him, but. But yeah, in in Sonic Three, he's teamed up with Robotnik. But then I think he switches. Yeah. Um, I always liked playing as him because you could like glide to the walls and stuff. Yeah, I always thought that made the game. I think in Sonic Four, uh, I might be like just in Sonic Three a little bit. I'm not. I'm not really sure. But if you play as Knuckles, the game is actually different. Like some yeah. of the, some of the level changes around. That's kind of cool. It's almost like having two games in one. <laughs> All right. And after that, what what was there? Uh, Sonic 3D Blast. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. He. <laughs> um. All right. It's not that bad, the game, but it's just not very fun. Yeah. I've I've never sat down, and and played um, Sonic 3D Blast and said, you know what? I'm having a good time. <laughs> I can't recall that ever happening. So you've never played it, or what? Uh, no, I mean, I've played it. I, I, I have similar views on it. <laughs> like now, it. Is that the same as the Saturn one? Uh, yeah, it is. Li- it was just called Sonic 3D, but I think it, they're the same thing. It's basically, yeah, the same game. I, it's a little updated, but other than that, it's, yeah, it's basically the same game. Yeah. That's, I, yeah, I mean, it's not terrible. It's 
I don't know. The view kind of screws it, but yeah, it's weird. <laughs> it's kind of like too early. You know what I mean? It didn't call for it. There's no reason to make a 3D Sonic game. Yeah. Especially when it was going so well in 2D. <laughs> you know, is that was just like another string of like bad choices on Sega's part. <laughs> so um. But yeah, Sonic 3D, and then you know, and then you transfer over to the Saturn, and the Saturn never really got its own Sonic game. Yeah, yeah it was supposed like they had Sonic Jam, which was a collection of all the original ones. Right. And then, I actually uh, want that game. <laughs> but, yeah, Sonic 3D Blast, basically just an updated port. Yeah. Sonic R, which is its only original game, I, I guess. It's on the PC too, but um, it's a racing game. It was kind of mediocre i thought i, I heard i never played yeah, it. yeah i never played it but um and then they were making one that was supposed to come out like uh at the same time mario 64 and crash bandicoot came out but they never got it out oh i didn't know that yeah it was called sonic extreme whoa <laughs> extreme yeah I, no i didn't know i've never heard that yeah. um right so the saturn was kind of a little dark for sonic but then the dreamcast <laughs> sort of picked him back up yeah, the adventure titles were good. Yeah, yeah. I have uh, I have Sonic... I Actually, I have them both. I've only played Sonic 1, though, or Adventure 1. Uh, I didn't get terribly far in it, but, you know, it's certainly better than 3D Blast, no doubt about it. It, it, it kind of, like, def- it defined... Well, that's not hard to do, by the way. But it sort of defined, like, the modern Sonic. Sort of that whole... Yeah. Like, how the game's played. Um, and, and you know what? And then after the Dreamcast, you could—it's anybody's guess as to what the hell game came next. Uh, <laughs> well, well, there's one more on the Dreamcast. There was Sonic Shuffle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we had to talk about that's always that's like the <laughs> Mario Party answer. Yeah, it was tried to compete with Mario Party, but it was, it wasn't good. <laughs> oh, <man>. Poor Sonic. <laughs> so yeah, Sonic Shuffle, and then you. Had, I, I, I literally, I could almost not even guess what the first one was on the, uh, on the next generation. Uh, well, there was, there was an original uh, Advance, Game Boy Advance game that was Sonic Advance. Oh, yeah. Actually, I had that. That was one of the first Sonic games. In fact, maybe it was the first Sonic game I actually beat. <laughs> so, actually, I like that one. No. And it was kind of, you know, it's kind of a throwback to the original. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then, and then I had two sequels, but I never played those. Yeah, I don't think I ever played them either, but... Uh, the DS has its own little series of side scrollers, Sonic Rush. Um, there was actually a Sonic RPG. Did you know that? Sonic... What's it called? I think it's called uh, Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood, I think. It's on the DS. It's uh, supposed to be a pretty simple RPG, I thought, but that's one yeah. I kind of wanted to give a shot. No, yeah, I've never heard of that one. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, when you're talking consoles, though, I mean... There was there, there was actually a remake of both Sonic Adventures on the GameCube. Um, yeah, yeah, but, I, yeah. I mean, what, what else is there? Sonic Heroes. Yeah, that was the uh, first first one they made on the the next gen, I guess. <laughs> next yeah. gen at that time, but right, right. <laughs> and then Shadow the Hedgehog. Am I am I missing it? You got you got the two remakes. On, yeah, and and then Shadow and then Heroes. Yeah. I thought there were more for some reason. Uh, Sonic Riders, which was the I, racing game. Yeah, okay, there we go. Is that better than Sonic R, you think? Uh, probably. I, I, I mean, I never played it, but I heard it wasn't great. It was better than R, but <laughs> that's not saying much. <laughs> right. <yeah. laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you go to this, well, current generation, and <laughs> it even gets more messy. I, I mean... <laughs> It's because the Wii, the Wii kind of screwed it up because there's like no definitive, like the Wii has its own games now, so you're adding yeah. and more. I think the <laughs> only one that he'd even shared was Sonic Unleashed. I think that's the only one that was on both systems. Yeah. So. So yeah, that's where we're at now. <laughs> what a what a strange run this character is. <laughs> uh, but in 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 my favorite, still the first one. Yeah, it's just got that, you know, it's so classic. Like, uh, yeah. It's hard to, it's hard to mess up. Put Sega on the map, man. <laughs> put Sega on the map. That they, the map that they quickly burned in the next few years, but <laughs> yeah. they still put them on the map, so. <sighs> so, yeah, there's Sonic. He is 21. Damn. 
<laughs> that's pretty and cool. And I'm gonna drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can drink <laughs> with Amy. Oh, that's another <laughs> thing about the Sonic characters. They, uh, they have, there are too many of them. Yeah, there's... Hey, there, I can name you, like, six of them. But there are, like, 15. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. He's got a lot of friends, yeah. so to speak. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I, yeah, there's too many for me. Actors and all those good ones. Oh, yeah. The whole Chaotix crew. Uh, I think that's, like, their little gang. Chaotix is, like, their little <laughs> gang there. And there's, like, six people in there. That's... I, I know, um, it's Knuckles. That's the only name I can even <laughs> spurt right now. So. All right, well, as long as, or as well as picking the spotlight, you also picked the game of the week. Which yeah. Is interesting little series you picked here. <laughs> yeah, I tried to come up with something new, like something different, rather than focusing on, like, mainstream games. I, I don't, I, I think game of the week is kind of something to spotlight ones, you know, people may not be as familiar with. So yeah, yeah. I came up with the Worm series, which is one of those just classic series that never gets old, and except when they try and go 3D. But we won't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, my first, like I didn't play the original one, which I think was only on computer. Like my first introduction to the series was Worm's uh, World Party. I think it was World Party. It was either World Party or Armageddon. That was on the Dreamcast. Mm-hmm. And I remember playing, like popping it in, not knowing what to expect, and just like, being blown away by how funny the game was. <laughs> like, all the little one-liners that they sprout. If, if, if you're not familiar with it, basically, two or more teams of uh, these little worms, and basically <laughs> you're just trying to blow the crap out of each other with all manner of weapons. <laughs> and that's all it, like, it's the simplest concept in the world, like, just blow the crap out of each other, but it's so fun, and, like, the one-liners are just hilarious. I don't know what your history with it is, but... Yeah, well, uh, I'll say that in a second, but I just want to say, the, the, the little plot that you had just said, it, it's exactly what the game is, but it makes <laughs> me wonder, who the hell would think this would, like, be such a good idea? Yeah. And who, who would, like... Clearly they were on drugs when they came up with the idea. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is so ridiculous. But you're right, it's, it's a lot of fun. It harkens back to, like, you know, playing, you know, the tank on... Atari 2600, you know, that's yeah, all that was, was two tanks blowing the crap out of each other, and, like, I still so, love that game, so, so. so the formula is as follows. <laughs> Any game with two opposing forces trying to blow the crap out of each other it's is gonna good. be good. Yeah. Which is probably why Call of Duty is so successful. There you go. Se- se- <laughs> there we go, yeah, Halo, the whole shooter, craze. Uh, yeah. anyway, worms for me. Now, uh, I have literally only played one Worms game. <laughs> um, and I haven't played a ton of it, but I've played a good amount of it. And it was Worms Armageddon on the Dreamcast. Um, it was one of the games I got when I got my Dreamcast. And and you, you're right, you know, you 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 start this game up, and you just don't know what to expect. And then what you get, well, I didn't necessarily know what to expect. I'd never really heard of Worms before. <laughs> and then you you play this game, and it's like, what am I what am I playing here? And then, before you know it, it's, you know, 45 minutes later, and you're having a good old time. <laughs> um, yeah, it is, it's it's fun. What, it's a, what, what do they call them, real-time strategy games or something? Yeah, it's, it's essentially a real-time strategy. Um, yeah. Well, I guess it, it wouldn't be real-time, it would be turn-based. Yeah, that's, yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, uh, you know, the game's fun, and it's a lot more fun with uh, more people around. Uh, the only problem I have is, like, there, there, you have, like, so many weapons to choose from. <laughs> and unless you, like, go through the manual and, and, and literally, like, read what each one does in this, it's, it's, not, I mean, it's a good game once you learn how these weapons work to just pick up and play. But yeah. just, like, literally my first Worms experience, pop the disc in, start playing, I have no idea what all these weapons do. Yeah, there, there's a, a glutton of weapons. <laughs> like, it takes a lot of kind of trial and error to figure out how to use them all. But, I mean, but, they're just so funny. Like, the sheep launcher. I mean... The sheep launcher. It's just yeah. hilarious. Yeah. It is a and pretty The holy stupid. hand grenade. I think the, the holy hand grenade. What, what does that one do exactly? It's it's from uh, Monty Python. Like, they they use it in my, and they put it in worms. It's just it's this giant grenade that... <laughs> It blows, like, half the screen up. It's yeah. hilarious. But, like, you throw it, and it's like, hallelujah, and then it blows up. It's great. <laughs> oh, excuse me again. Damn. Uh, yeah, Wait, Worms... Think... Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, I think it's on, like, 
every system that exists. Oh, g- good. <laughs> yeah, it is everywhere. It's actually, I, you know, I, I, I thought that the first one would be like on the, uh, uh, the Saturn or the Dreamcast. That's just where I first heard of. But there's actually one on the Saturn, and then I didn't even know this. There's actually one on the Mega Drive. Oh, I had no idea. Wow. Yeah, I, it was only a, uh, I, I assume only a European, because it's on the Mega Drive, not the Genesis. The yeah. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> so this series goes back much further than I thought. <laughs> uh, I actually want to get the Saturn one. I, I can do without the Mega Drive one, because I highly doubt it's that great. <laughs> you know, it, it's six, and, it's, and the Genesis, you know, this game, I'm not sure how it could do. Because part <laughs> of the fun is, like, them talking. Like yeah, the that they say you can't really capture that class you know, <laughs> in the Genesis, but um, but yeah, I, I've only played the one. Another one I want to try is there was one on the Wii of all systems to have. Well, it's on every system, so I shouldn't say yeah. that. But is actually is there one on the DS? I, I think I've just found a, a a gap in their system. <laughs> no, yeah, uh, I don't think there is one on the DS, but. But, um, yeah, there's one on a Wii. I, I forget what it's called, but I, I watched Atari Leaf. I actually did a video on it a while ago. Um, I forget what it's called. It's something about an island or something. But, but yeah, it's like the same concept. Yeah, as long as it, there, there was one, there were two on the Xbox. One was Forts, and I can't remember what the other one was called. That they tried to do it in 3D, and they just didn't work very well. Like okay, those, so, I, I, now, I've actually never played or even actually watched uh, any of the 3D <laughs> ones, but I have heard they're not that great. Yeah, it just didn't, it, it, it doesn't translate well to 3D. Like, it's not made, it's made for 2D, so they just didn't translate well. So stay away from those. But other than that, you, you can't really go too wrong. I think there's even one on iPhone, and probably Android, too. Oh, yeah, it's, I'm sure it's for the place. <laughs> it's like Peggle, it's everywhere. Yeah, that's, no, yeah, no doubt about that, yeah. There's, I think there's two on Xbox Live Arcade, um... The first one is kind of disappointing just because the weapon selection is really limited, but... The first Worms? Yeah, on the on Xbox Live Arcade. I think it's just called Worms. But, ah, okay. It's, yeah, it's missing a bunch of the favorite weapons, but... It's still good. Like, it's it's still fun. <laughs> and that one, you know, that one you can play online, so... That's oh, that's kind of cool. That, would, that, that seems like it'd work well. I don't know how many people are still playing it, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, well, yeah, I wish I had more Worms exposure, but uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't. It's just one of those, like, underrated series, I think. Yeah, it's kind of like the kind of thing that's, like, not that many people have heard about it, but the people who have love it. Yeah. yeah so, so yeah, check out Worms. I, I think most of the 2D ones play very similar, so it doesn't really matter which one you check out. I, I'd recommend Armageddon, because that's the only one I've played. <laughs> yeah, World Party is essentially the same thing. But... Actually... Ugh, damn it, I have, like, the yawns. Like, I can't get rid of them. But, um, Worms <laughs> Armageddon on the N64 is actually one of the rarest games on the system, which I thought was kind of funny. I had no idea. Yeah, uh, yeah that is interesting. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, well, uh, that's about it for the Worms. Yeah. You know, every, every time I say Worms, I think back to that scene. I don't know if you've seen Dumb and Dumber. But when he's, uh, he's driving the limo, and then he just all of a sudden says, I got worms. Oh, yeah, I got worms. <laughs> he's talking about the pet story when I open up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, off topic. But anyway, um, but yeah, if that's it, unless you have anything else to add about worms. I think that about wraps it up. Yeah, yeah, good series, good series. <laughs> um, all right, so now it's the What We're Playing segment. And, uh, yeah, well, I'll go ahead and start. Let's do a little order switch here. Uh, okay, I, I've actually got a few, um, let me readjust the little headset here, um, actually a game that I've started and beaten since the last episode, um, which wow. is interesting, it's, first off, it's never happened, and <laughs> second off, it is nice that we're doing two weeks now, because it actually has the opportunity to happen, and that game is a Super Nintendo, like, damn near a masterpiece, eh, not a masterpiece, but a really great game, it's a uh, Super Metroid. Have you played Super Metroid before I start talking about it? I played it a little bit. Okay. I haven't, yeah. Now... As with many games, I've played a little bit. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I can say that about so many games. But, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so Super Metroid, when I first started collecting, was literally the second... I Was it the second? Yeah, I think it was the second complete in box game I ever bought. 
uh, <laughs> right after Final Fight. And you know what? I had heard great things. I was like, you know what? I've decided I'm going to try Super Metroid. So I buy this game, get it in the mail, pop it in, play. It's like, yeah, okay, this is pretty good. A uh, year and a half later, haven't touched it. And it's like, you know what? <laughs> Damn it. I have these so many like classic Super Nintendo games, and I just haven't played through them. And people are always saying, oh, yeah, Chrono Trigger, Super Metroid, you know, you got all these great games on Super Yeah. <laughs> you got to play them. And then it's like, okay, well, I've played a little bit of Chrono Trigger. I've, you know, I've played a little bit of Super Metroid. And it's like, well, damn it. I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to play Super Metroid, and I'm going to see what the hype's about. And guess what? I loved it. <laughs> it was uh, really a lot of fun. Imagine it like this. It is almost, and it, it's really weird when I was playing it, how many like similarities that the two have it's almost like a 2d zelda in these caverns because the way the game works it's very much a puzzle uh cryptic is a great word to describe much like zelda yeah. um and you have to you unlock these different upgrades or these different weapons as it would be in zelda uh in order to explore different areas of the game it, it's very similar um and there's like i think there's four areas within the game and you defeat the boss, then you go to the final area. It's like just like the dungeons in Zelda. You know, it's <laughs> it's uh it's very good. It's very good. Um, I've never really played. Well, let me say it like this: I've played a little bit of the original Metroid, but I've actually <laughs> never do, uh, do, uh, played too much into it. Uh, but Super Metroid, yep, I beat it from start to finish, and uh, wow, it was a lot of fun. Great game. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, I'm, I'm, what was that? I was going to say that's pretty impressive that you managed to play it start. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, now, which prob the, the the problem was I, I forget my time, but the way the Metroid games work is depending on how fast you finish it is the different ending you get. I, I yeah. think I got the standard ending. Uh, I beat it in under ten hours. I think it was like eight and a half or something, which for my first playthrough, I guess isn't too bad. But um, if you beat it in a certain amount of time, you get to see Samus in a bikini in sixteen bit. <laughs> Um, I didn't get to see that, unfortunately. I just got the uh, whole standard suit. I think she may have taken, taken off her helmet. I'm not too sure, but, <laughs> but unfortunately, I didn't get to see any 16-bit bikini. 16 bikini salmon. <laughs> uh, so I, uh, um, I, I want to do this. You want to alternate? Why don't, you, why don't you say something you've played lately? Um, all right, I'll start old school. Something I fired up just because... I've heard so many people talk about it, and I don't. I think I might have played like maybe five minutes of it previously. Um, it'll come as no surprise because it's an RPG that I haven't played it. But uh, Super Mario RPG on the SNES. Oh. Um, I started playing it. I haven't gotten very far, but it's. It seems like what's really cool to me about it is that it's. You know, it's very user friendly. Like especially me, I'm not an RPG player, um, but I can I can pick it up and play it and not have too much struggle with it. So I'm I'm bound and determined to beat it at some point. I don't know how long it'll take, but <laughs> that's my goal is to actually play it all the way through it. So I know so, it's one of your favorites. <laughs> so uh, this is awkward. <laughs> um, you're playing it too, aren't you? Yes, I did. I saw your post on Facebook. I'm like, he's gonna be playing it too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I um, you know what? I played. Uh, well, okay. This is really weird because it is. The next game after Super Metroid that I bought complete in box. Because when I first started collecting, there were a few games that I wanted to make sure I had. And that those two were the ones. And and it's like the same story. Um, I played it for a little bit and was like, yeah, oh, this is pretty good. And then kind of put in the back burner. I picked it up not, a, not too long ago and started playing it again. It's like, oh, yeah, damn, this is good. But then I just, like, lost touch. I just never... And it's like, you know what? Damn it. Quit playing this game and putting it down so i just started it over again um yeah it, i didn't start it over i continued where i left off and um yeah like you said it's just perfect for uh people who aren't into rpgs that much it is so it, it's not an easy game i don't want to say it's easy but it's it, you don't have to be an expert in rpgs to understand what to do and how to play it yeah and i think that's the biggest thing it has going for it yeah, it's user friendly. Like, yeah, and it's you know it's Mario, so yeah. Well, yeah, that's, you that's two points right. already. But um, <laughs> now, now a big problem I have, and this is uh, an issue I've had with RPGs the whole time, uh, is that there is that level of strategy in each and every RPG battle that you have that it's just like it's hard for me to grasp 
Now, I can do strategy games, I, 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 I think, but I can't, I have a hard time def- deciding what move works best in this situation. Yeah. And, you know, as soon as I get that down, which I still haven't mastered the idea, <laughs> but as soon as I get that down, I, I think the game's going to be a lot more enjoyable. Um, so, you know, I got, I got that to look forward to, I guess. But, um, now, I had a gripe with the game. I have a gripe. No, hold on to your butts here, but I was playing it, and I I don't know, have you gotten uh, any of the seven stars yet? No, not yet. Okay, uh, I just got my second one, and I don't want to give away any spoilers for you, but I, I just beat a boss. And I was playing for about a half hour, beat this boss in a, not an epic battle by any means, but it was a decent amount of time. And uh, and I won, and I was like, oh, all right, that always makes me feel good, because I'm not very good at RPGs, and when you win, it's that extra. All right. So, after that, I have to head back to this certain town, and uh, I have to do a little mission there. <laughs> and now, there's this other guy that uh, I'm chasing down, and I finally get to him, and it's been about another half hour, so I've been playing about an hour, and um, I have to fight this guy. All right, well, he kicks my ass. <laughs> and I lose, and then all of a sudden, a little old me re- remembers, oh, damn it, I didn't save. <laughs> oh, my God. I literally said, all right, I'm not doing this. And I shut the game off. And about ten minutes later, I came back in and, <laughs> and did the whole thing again. <laughs> Remembered to save, and uh, I am now, that's where I'm at. I cannot beat that second guy. Still got to beat him. So that's where the whole... Uh, the grinding, I believe, is the RPG term, is grinding. Yeah. You like sort of level your player up. I'm going to have to do a little bit of that. And uh, what I'm really looking forward to is getting Bowser on my team. Because this is like the only game I think I've ever seen where Bowser is on your side at some point. On your side, yeah. Yeah. So I, I, and this is a game that I want to go through. I want I, Just like you, I want to go all the way through it. See, I'm kind of cheating because I'm emulating so I can use save states. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, and the game. But it's just, it's just a you know it's a fact of my life. I don't have a lot of time, so I want to be able to save whenever I need to. So that's why. That's my it, main reason. It's it, it's a good idea. Yeah, it's it makes sense. <laughs> um, yeah, in the game there are just like save points randomly throughout the game, and you just have to check yeah. on them and you save. But um, yeah, save states that would certainly be helpful. <sighs> All right. Well, I have one more game, but it's your turn. Do you have anything else? Uh, yeah, I'll go uh, new school this time. Um, oh. uh, since James and I finished Halo 4, or not Halo 4, but Halo uh, <laughs> You Reef. watched Halo 4? No. <laughs> or Halo Anniversary. Excuse me, I can't keep my Halo straight. Um, <laughs> <laughs> since we finished playing that co-op, we needed something new, so we fired up Brink, um, Brink and started okay. playing that. Uh, it's, I have a Brink shirt. <laughs> it's interesting. I don't... I mean, it's, it's, it's a first-person shooter, but it's all... It's... Like, it's... You play through the single cam- player campaign, but we're playing co-op, obviously. Um, but you, um, like, you have these AI teammates, so it's meant to be played multiplayer. Like that's it's, and you're you're playing against another team. But the my biggest gripe is like we're playing just us two, and then a bunch of bots. But the bots are so retarded that like you essentially have to do everything to progress anywhere. And I think it's it's nearly impossible to fail on some of the missions. Like we were playing the other night, and we both kind of getting tired so we're like okay we'll finish this mission and we don't even care if we win we'll, we'll stop at this point so we're actually not even really trying to win we're just because we weren't sure entirely what we were supposed to be doing at that point because sometimes the missions aren't real clear about what your goal is um and like we just could not fail the mission like we were actually trying to fail at one point and we just couldn't <laughs> like it keep you know, it kept giving us another chance and eventually we completed it somehow i don't know how but um, but what's really cool about it is, like, there's four different classes you can play as, and you can switch independently. You just have to find these little terminals that are all over the level, and then you can switch your class to something different if you want to. Um, and you can customize what weapons you have, and you can customize what your character looks like and stuff. But I, I imagine it would be a lot more fun if, like, you had a big group of people playing online. Like, if you had full human people on both both sides, I think it would be a lot more interesting. But it's not terrible by any means. It's just really hard to play... Like, either solo or just co-op, because the AI literally does not complete any objectives for you. Like, you have to do everything, which can get a little annoying, but... It's it's interesting. It's worth checking out. Like, I don't know if I'd... I'm sure it's cheap as hell right now, but... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I would have been happy paying full price for it, but it's not a bad title. Yeah, um... 
So it's just like kind of average, I guess would be a good way to yeah, say it. Yeah, yeah, it's very, it's very average. Like I said, I think it would be a lot more fun if like you had full online teams, but it's it's not terrible. Yeah, I think I remember when that game came out, it getting kind of mixed to reviews, kind of. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, as far as I know, unless I'm forgetting any, uh, this is my last game. And it's pretty new, and I know you like the original, so I don't I don't know if you've played the new one, but it's Donkey Kong Country Returns. Uh, I haven't played the new one yet. Actually. Yeah, you haven't played it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, it just went through a price drop, so uh, I picked up a used copy for a good price. So, actually, well, you know what? It's going to be my pickest video, if you, if, so the story's in there. I don't want to explain it here, but it ended up costing me very little. So, um... So I ended up getting it, and uh, I popped it in. I've, I'm at the very end of the second world right now, and it is... Uh, I, don't, I don't know. How do I want to describe it? it? It. I don't like it as much as the originals. I will say that. Uh, but that's not to say it's not great. It is very reminiscent of the originals, I guess is a, uh, how I would put it. But it is just there's something about it. I guess it, maybe it's probably the nostalgia that it just can't, you know. It, there's it, I don't have any nostalgia towards this game. Whereas I grew up playing the first three Donkey Kongs, uh, right. so it's missing that. Uh, but all things aside, you know the game it plays really great. You hold the Wii mode on its side, or you can actually use the jo- the joystick and the controller. But you, I don't think there's any motion necessarily. But um, right. But I, I prefer to play it uh, holding it the controller sideways. Plays just like kind of like an NES game. Um, and the, my biggest problem with the game is that it, it is freaking brutally hard. <laughs> it is harder than... Um, it's certainly harder than the first game. I, 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 I'd be hard-pressed to say it's harder than the second, because the second the, that, game is, that game is hard. You talk about hard games, that's, that's hard. Uh, yeah. I don't think I've ever beaten that game, actually. That's one of the, that's one of the ones I haven't beaten. Uh, I got pretty far in the third one, I think, but uh, I think my save got erased or something. But, um, <laughs> but anyway, it is it is hard. It is a hard game, and it's almost like off-putting at some point. It kind of reminds me of a, um, this is going to be an odd reference, but Contra, uh, like either Contra 3 or Contra Hardcore and the Genesis, sort of the 16-bit ones, because there are points in that game, the, game is, the games are very hard, but there's points in the games where you are supposed to dodge something that you either, A, had to know was coming, you had to know, you had to have been here before and know that something is coming, or you have to be, uh, or two, I forget what I said the first time, but you have to, secondly, you have to have the quickest reflexes on the planet. And yeah. there are points in this game where it's just, that's the case. You have to either know this is going to happen, or just be so quick that you can dodge it. Um, so, it, it, other than that complaint that it's very difficult, um, I guess I don't really have one. Any other <laughs> complaints? Uh, so yeah, it's a good game. It's it's fairly cheap now. So, and, uh, if you like the originals, I can go ahead and pick it. Oh, by the way, the music is all like re redone versions of the classic tunes. So, pretty good. Pretty, oh, that'd be cool. pretty good. Yeah. yeah, I'll have to check it out. So, what else are you playing? You got anything else? That's about it for me. I played a little bit of like FIFA World Cup 2010. <laughs> I was on kind of a soccer kick, but not enough to talk that about. That is the most random ever. <laughs> like, what, yeah. <laughs> well, I was watching like the Euro 2012 on ESPN. Like, I'm a geek. I'll watch anything on ESPN. So I was watching a bunch of that, and it just made me want to play a soccer game. So I played that one. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's basically all I've been playing, too. Uh, you know, there's the few games I've dabbled in. It's like, oh, yeah, I played a few minutes of that. Oh, yeah, I tried that. Um, yeah. But, yeah, there's really nothing that I can say that I've really been playing. Now, what I'm going to start doing, is, and this is my goal, and I, I really hope I can stick to it, I want to just play one game at a time. I'd really like it if I could just play one game, finish the thing, and then play another. Mm-hmm. Like, right now, I'm kind of screwed. I've kind of contradicted myself because I'm playing Donkey Kong Country in Super Mario RPG at the same time. So now I have to compete which one do I want to play. Uh, so uh, I'm thinking about maybe just beating Donkey Kong Country and then coming back to Mario RPG, but then I'll be in the mood to play Mario RPG, and it's like, okay, well, i got to play this now, and then it's just a whole mess. Right. So after this, I'm going to try and pledge to just play one at a time. <laughs> 
Uh, of yeah. course, besides like retro gameplay, it's just easy to pop in and play. You know. Yeah. But other than that, yeah, <laughs> it's confusing. So, are we done? I think so. I think we're done. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, um, yeah, that's uh, that's episode ten. Wow, that's that's a lot of episodes this season, but uh, <laughs> but yeah. So this will be uploaded Friday. So, um, uh, tomorrow's gonna suck so bad, Nick. Yeah, I know. You've seen, I'm sure. It, wait, have you you seen my Facebook status? Yeah. Well, you told me because you told me last week, like. We have to record Wednesday. Or... Oh, right, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> now I'm going to say it, and it's going to make it sound worse than it is, but I'm having minor oral surgery. <laughs> no, I'm just getting my wisdom teeth taken out. And it's kind of like the thing, it's, it's, it's more of an inconvenience than it is anything. Because uh, yeah. it's a pretty straightforward procedure. There's really nothing special about it. But it's just, you can't eat solid foods for a few days. You have to drink, you know, it's like, come on. You know, we live in 2012. Can't they just beam these things out of my head now? Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I got to get that done. Well, you know what? By the time you guys are even hearing this, it'll already be done because this is uploaded on Friday. It's getting done Thursday. And assuming I'm not super tripping on Vicodin and I actually remember to upload, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see that being a problem. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so, so, yeah. But if you look at the bright side, it'll give you lots of time to play Mario RPG. My God. <laughs> yeah, that's actually, to do my I, yeah, I was thinking of that. I was like, you know what? I'm getting my wisdom teeth out. I gotta pick a game, and I'm just gonna, you know, all this time I'm gonna be sitting down. I, I you know, I gotta pick something. And then, I, and then I was actually thinking, it's like, well, damn it, I'm playing two games right now. Which one do I pick? And you know what? I think, I think I'm actually going to pick Mario RPG. And the reason is because Donkey Kong Country is very hard, and I don't want to like get angry. So I yeah. just want to play a game I can play, have fun, nice and smooth, um, and Mario RPG will give that to me. <laughs> so yeah, that's the end of episode ten. So all right, checklist: like us on Facebook, <laughs> and that's all. Comment the on the yeah. video and <laughs> Com- yeah, comment. Do what James does. James is a perfect viewer. He's a perfect <laughs> viewer. He asks questions. He listens to the show. He- he's perfect. He might be a little anti Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> Not anti Nintendo, just anti Wii U. <laughs> yeah, he's anti Wii U. But other than that, other than that, he's um, he 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 he's a prime example. So everybody, make like James and comment. So <laughs> James Day. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. Well, that's gonna be it, guys. So um, yeah, we'll see you guys in two weeks for yet another installment. So, uh, yeah, until then, we will uh, talk to you later. See you next time, guys.